My name is George Kenner, Broker Associate with Keller Williams Real Estate here in Chula Vista, California. This morning I received an email from one of my associates and it was titled Short Sale Wars. It seems as though some people have taken the attitude that we're in a battle. Well, I don't necessarily feel that way. Socrates said that all man makes what he believes to be the best decision. Now, if this video lands on the right person's desk, that sees an opportunity, this could mean advancement. I've worked in the government sphere. I know that if a government employee takes an idea forward to their supervisors where a massive amount of money can be saved, promotion time. Okay, let's go into my office. We're going to sit down and I'm going to explain to you what's happening. As you can tell, I'm not a skilled presenter. I'm certainly no movie star. But what I am is a 23-year real estate professional with 18 years of banking experience. And all of the banking experience that I have, I knew that every decision came down to one thing, the money. And what I think I found here is a situation where money is not the most important thing. Some government employee is going to see this or some bank loss mitigation officer and they're going to run with this because this makes a lot of sense. But to make it make sense, it's going to take more than just a couple of sound bites. I'm going to have to explain this. And here's what happened. 14 months ago, my client entered into a short sale agreement with two different real estate agents. They came to um, put it on the MLS, came to terms, everything was ready to go. And the lender contacted them and offered them the opportunity for the reconsideration of a loan modification, and they canceled the short sale. So for 14 months after my client had already decided that his only ability was going to be the short sale and had been agreed upon, we lost 14 months worth of payments on this FHA insured loan. The approximate payment is $2,300 a month. So 14 times 2,300 plus all of the property taxes and everything else were lost. On September 10th, the client came to me on a referral from a HUD counselor to see if we had the ability to get him into a short sale now to ease him over and make a better transition than a foreclosure. So what I've done here is I, I've done a couple of calendars and I took the $2,300 and I, I showed that $2,300 breaks down to $76 a day. So $76 in payment has been lost every day as I've worked on this transaction. I, I have here and be happy to provide to any regulator um, 196 different contacts or pages of contacts where I've worked to try and accommodate this short sale. Um, what ended up happening was FHA takes and as part of their processing orders both the title report and an appraisal on the property. Of course, they want to make sure that the property can be transferred and the, the value of the property um, is below the value of the note, so a short sale really makes sense. Those things were done. Now I'm in a timeline where cancellation of the note is necessary, or cancellation of the process could be necessary. I have worked very hard with the lender, who I have an infinite amount of respect for. This is one of America's largest banks that has provided me with access to people to both show these problems to and to work through them. They take a very small bank attitude, accolades to them. So um, now. What's happened is there's a disconnect between FHA and the IRS. The IRS has a tax lien on my client and there is no equity. Now the tax lien will not go away, it just needs to be removed from this property. But I'm getting caught in a catch-22 timeline here where it's I could end up in foreclosure not being able to do the short sale. After, of course, I've invested all the time and energy um, to bring this to what everyone believes is the best result, which is a short sale. Now, I lost, of course, the first month. The second month, I lost all October. That's another $2,300. So I'm a total loss of $3,833. Now, if this is happening on, say, 100 files or 200 files because of this timeline, all of a sudden we have significant money. If some government employee can go in and between FHA and the IRS, either streamline the process so that it is automatic as soon as the value is determined, or um, there's an authority given to the servicer to extend, I'd be done. Now, it's my understanding at this point in time, there's not even a methodology 
for the IRS and FHA to share the appraisal with one another. Now here's where I'm set. I go to the IRS through the um, escrow officer and they want to see a copy of an appraisal. Can you imagine how hard it is to get a copy of an FHA paid for appraisal by a servicer? Literally impossible. Now I can't get the appraisal for um, the clients that are buying the home because um, I have an approval. They're not going to commit to that. Again, catch 22. We're talking about existing documents. FHA has that appraisal, but FHA is not getting a hold of the IRS. And in the meantime, all of these people that would like to make a smoother transition can't get it to happen. Now, in this case, I think if you take the $2,300 times the 14 months and you add three more months to it, you'll see real money. And eventually what's going to end up happening is somebody's going to see this. Somebody's going to understand that there's a huge amount of money that could be saved here that can go into other programs or balance our budget. And they're going to see the logic of sharing this. Um, I can only say thank you to the loss mitigation officers that have helped me with this. They're doing everything they can within the system, but I think it'd be pretty easy to acknowledge that uh, there's a little tweak here that could really show great benefit. If anyone from the government, FHA, um, the servicer, the Treasury Department would like to pick up the phone and call me, by all means do. I don't believe in the term FHA warrants. As I said earlier, Socrates said that he believed all men make the best decision. Well, they just sometimes don't have the ability to make the best decision. They need counsel. And I think if you look at the system and the timeline that's been established for the servicers, a modification could save a major amount of money. Respectfully, thank you very much for your time. I hope this lands in the, um, in the right person's lap. I am going to send this around to a couple of regulators that I know, um, to the California Association of Realtors and the National Association of Realtors. A lot of us are really trying to work together to pull this out. We understand that the Office of the Controller of the Currency published a report that says defaults are going up. We need to reverse this for our community. I wish you the best. Thank you very much.